Hi, I'm Michael Keynes, head chef at Gilly Park here in Devon, and I'm looking forward to doing my signature dishes in the food hall at Harrods. Mm, delicious. I'm going to cook for you a wonderful dish that you can do at home, the wonderful Thai crab fish cake with a lovely salad using all those wonderful flavours from Thailand. We've got some ginger, lemongrass, some limes, and of course some chilli to give some lovely heat. Just start to smell those flavours, intensify. So you're cooking it out like, almost like a paste. Now we're going to add chilli. Then we've got our red pepper dice as well. And of course the onion. And then I've got some crab meat here. This is using the white crab meat here. What we're going to do is just put those two together and we're just going to mix it through, ready for us to put the vegetable element within it. It's cool now. So just take a, a spatula and literally in it goes. This really is the the bit that carries that flavour. Mix that through nicely. Then we're just going to clean film the mixture, leave it in the fridge, let that cool right down and then we'll shape them. And meanwhile, we'll make our sauce. We've worked with the team so far to, to sort of know what works, what doesn't work, and we're very conscious that we want to bring a lot of flair and imagination whilst at the same time making it all able to recreate something special at home. So in there, we've got our olive oil, I've got our ginger pesto with our garlic as well, roasting with the lemongrass. It's a little bit of colour, now let's add the chilies. Perhaps a luxury fish pie that we'll, we'll do, and a lobster salad, which we think will go down a real treat in Howard. So it's sort of like a real homely feel. Things like, you know, the fish cake was a great example. Perhaps things like the rushdi galette with a lovely uh, beef and a red wine sauce that they can then take home and reheat. The crab with all those lovely vegetables, beautifully seasoned. And then all we're going to do is just take some of the mixture. I've got a little circle here, you can do it by hand, but this is a very clever way of doing it. Just divide the mixture into here, mold them like so, pinch of flour, just pat them nice and dry. Devon's my home county, so for me it's nice to come home and cook. I was born in Exeter, you know, it's always nice to be able to mix your trade and your talent in an area that is home. And a lot of us work away and eventually try and get back to where we started and for me it's been nice to be able to work in my home county for the last 20 years at the top of, the, sort of my profession which has been brilliant. These will be firmer if you put them in the fridge a little bit longer so best leave it for about half an hour in the fridge but it doesn't matter, dip it into the egg, careful of taking them out of the egg and then straight into your breadcrumbs. Now you can get the lovely panko breadcrumbs which are the Chinese style breadcrumbs, these are just handmade, they're lovely. Well my love for food uh, started when I was in a sort of large family at home, I was the youngest of six children, so I used to help bake cakes and help do Sunday lunch, but didn't realise I could do it as a job, as a profession as such. So that came very, very late towards the end of my schooling at 16 and then that was it, I haven't really looked back ever since. So here we are, here's our sauce, beautifully cooked now, into our blender. Lid on, cloth on top just in case. Quite a powerful one here. It's nice, so it should be nice and thick. So pass that through. This is a fine sieve, of course, just to make sure you get a smooth sauce. Most people aspiring for Mitchin are just trying to cook very, very well. It just happens to be a guide that is the oldest guide in the world for accrediting food. Therefore, it's got a huge prestigious element around that. And chefs do rate it as a sort of like the international accreditation of their ability to cook. So it needs a little bit of salt, a little bit of lime juice just to finish. A lovely heat of the chilli. So you want the salt on the sour now, just to work with that. It's very much how Thai cooking works. You've got that lovely chilli, almost like a guilty pleasure. And then it's a lovely heat, which is then cut with the salt and the sour. You can use, I'm using just salt, but you can use um, some fish sauce as well. But we were using that in our vinaigrette. What I hate about this job is the lack of social time. It's the inability sometimes to have um, consistent time off it can be a bit frustrating or time at home with the family. That makes it a little bit difficult for your partners and whatnot, but I think every job has its drawback. So, you know, I, I don't. I don't really mind it, it's, it's what I do and I enjoy it. 
locally sourced ingredients is one of the key elements at Gilly Park. It's not just seafood, it's, you know, lamb from Dartmoor, beef from, uh, you know, Exmoor. It's, it's, it's pretty much um, a seasonal cuisine that follows the seasons and so when we get to the game season we'll use a lot of that. We really specialise in all things local and seasonal and when we try and do that in a creative way, the menu evolves all the time. And we've got some non-scented oil here. This is just vegetable oil really. Hot pan, non-stick pan, great. Shallow fry. So, need quite a, a, quite a bit of oil there. And then we'll just cook four. Put them service side down, which is always the first side down. So you can pan fry them here and give them some nice color. Just nice golden brown, lovely. Nice slow cooking, so the heat goes through. Now we're going to put the fish cakes just through the oven for a couple of minutes just to finish cooking through. I'm very open-minded with food, but you sort of stick to what you're good at and what you do best. So I don't try and do sort of Japanese cooking or Thai cooking as such, but I do take some of those influences and, and flavours and combinations and immerse that within my own style. So while they're cooking in the oven, we're going to make our little vinaigrette, which is very, very simple. So it's equal parts of fish sauce with lime. I've got some juice here already and then just some vegetable oil. So now we're just going to slice some chilli for the salad. So just take your whole chilli, very, very finely at a slight angle. For the salad, we've got some roquette, it's a little bit of spinach, coriander, and also some mint, which I'm just going to pick off with some basil. We're gonna tear the basil. We're gonna add the rest of our salad, and also chilies. We'll add some of our vinaigrette when we need it and some coriander leaves. Desert island dish for me, normally it would be roast chicken or something like that, but today I'm going to say a lovely lobster salad, perhaps with some garlic mayonnaise. So just a little more sauce around the outside. And there we have our Thai crab fish cake with a lovely little salad dressed with that beautiful vinaigrette. Enjoy.